Hello everybody, it's Craig here and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to generate uh, quality content using Content Revenge. Now before I get into that I just want to explain real quickly here that we are using version 2.01 now um, which was just released uh, December 11th 2011 and in this new version we have included some really cool features and we're finding that this new version is still doing very well uh, in terms of generating content that uh, is getting ranked really well in the search engines and generating posts or pages that are uh, generating a lot of revenue in AdSense. So this, this new version is really killing it. So I'm glad that uh, you guys are here to be able to see the new features and I'm gonna show you quickly how it works and how to quickly generate some content using Content Revenge. So uh, I'm in the uh, Content Revenge configuration panel inside WordPress admin. I've already uploaded the uh, plugin, obviously. And the first thing you're going to see here um, are these fields where you input your consumer keys. Now, I have another video showing exactly how to set those up. So to save time, I've already put those in here. I've input my consumer key and my consumer secret key. I've also input my uh, Yahoo term extraction ID. Um, one of the new features we have here is the validate keys feature which when clicked uh, will tell you if you have where validation was successful in this attempt uh, will tell you if you've input your uh, two OAuth consumer keys here in input them properly so some people were uh, sometimes copying and pasting them incorrectly and then uh, couldn't figure out why the plugin was not working so this will help you to uh, jump through that step and determine uh, whether or not your keys are indeed input correctly. All right. So the next uh, thing we're going to do here is select a category. Um, I have several categories set up for this blog already, but for this test, we'll post directly to Soho Apartments, which is a uh, neighborhood in New York City. And I've already pasted my keywords in here. Um, this is the field where you just drop your keywords in. You can po paste up to a thousand keywords at once. And uh, for this particular test, I forget how many I have. I think it's like a hundred and some. But uh, anyway, I've already pasted those in there. And this particular field, this next one here, is a new feature. This is our negative keyword list. So if you do not want content related to a specific keyword, or I'm sorry, a specific word, then you would put that in the, the uh, negative keyword filter uh, in this field here. So say we don't want, say there's a, uh, a Soho neighborhood in the UK, but we don't want uh, that content related to the UK um, published, we would simply put um, that, fil that negative keyword in here. So I've done that. We'll filter out anything related to the UK. Um, that just keeps our content more concise and uh, more relevant to our, our blog or our pages that we're posting to. I'm sorry, we don't post to pages, but um, to the content of our blog, I should say. Um, the next uh, feature here, number of results per post. This just allows you to uh, choose a random setting between 1 and 20 of how many snippets of content will appear within your post. And uh, I'll show you exactly what that looks like when we generate a post. But for this particular example, we are going to use between 15 and 20 uh, results per post. Uh, the next uh, feature here is select post start date. This is really interesting because it allows you to generate content um, based on certain time periods. So if you want to generate content going all the way back to 2006 where your posts are dated um, uh, from dates in 2006, you can do that. Or you can choose uh, any year going up to 2016 if you want to future date uh, some of your posts. And, and when you future date your posts, that means that they will drip content going forward and your blog will remain active and, and seem as if you are uh, continually adding new content to it uh, daily. So that's a really cool feature as well. For this particular example, we are just going to backdate all of our posts starting at 2007, April uh, 1st, 2007. Um, this next field here, prepend content with. In this field, you're able to put in uh, any type of HTML you like or any content you want, whether it's just plain text or uh, HTML, you can put a banner, um, you can put a, a message, and all, all this does is put uh, place this particular content right above the content that Content Revenge generates. And I'll show you what this banner, 
the banner that I've created here, I'll show you what that looks like when we generate a post. Um, number of posts per day, this is a new feature for version 2.01. Um, this allows you to control how many posts go out per day. So if you only want one post going out each day, you're just going to select uh, between one and one. Um, you can randomly set it so that it posts between one and four, so that some days uh, only one post will go out, or another day maybe two posts, or another day maybe three posts, all the way up to four. Okay, so that just looks a lot more uh, uh, humanized versus automated and it makes it look like uh, each day you have um, a different amount of posts going out which is very helpful and valuable when it comes to uh, uh, looking more natural to the search engines. So these next selections here um, are just uh, toggle on and off features turn uh, on document icons that's not going to make much sense until I generate a post and I'll show you what those look like so for this test we're going to leave them on. Apply adult content filter this allows you to uh, keep any adult related content from showing up uh, within your post and I always like to leave that turned on. Um, include image results. Um, I always like to keep that on as well because it keeps your pages optimized um, for images and for the keyword that uh, each post is relevant to and I'll show you exactly what that means so we'll leave that on. Wik add Wikipedia results. This is a new feature here and uh, what this does, if you leave it on, it allows you to generate um, content related to each one of your keywords. Uh, it allows you to generate content that is uh, a snippet pulled from Wikipedia. And that just adds a, a nice random variety to your posts. And we've found that it uh, helps um, with uh, the relevancy of your pages. And it also helps with the value of your pages when a visitor comes by. Uh, to your page, they're going to find some uh, content that's uh, related to their what they're looking for. Same thing with about.com, another new feature which also the same as Wikipedia will allow you to pull uh, some content snippet related to your keywords uh, from about.com. Uh, same thing with YouTube, this is a new feature and when you leave that on what this does is it pulls in actual uh, word content from YouTube that is related to your keywords, which this is very different from other uh, YouTube type results because we're not pulling in the video, we're actually pulling in content in, in, in words, word form uh, related to your keywords. So this is really cool and it also adds uh, variety and it adds value and it adds um, uh, the ability to rank for your keyword uh, much easier because now you have a wide variety of content on your page and you'll see what that looks like uh, when we generate a post here. Same thing with news, another new feature and does the same thing as uh, Wikipedia about and YouTube. This allows you to pull in news results uh, related to your keyword and again that adds a lot of uh, value not only in uh, SEO but also in visitor terms as well. Uh, this last uh, feature here, generate new posts upon save um, if we leave that unchecked, um, what it does is, is when we hit save here, it's going to save, uh, save all of our options, which you see here, which means it's going to save our, our keys, it's going to save our category, it's going to save our keywords, all the settings that we've uh, set up here, it's going to save them, but it's not going to generate new posts. Now, if we select this and hit save, it's going to generate the posts that we have uh, uh, input our keywords for. So before we do that though, I want to show you another feature here that we've uh, added, and that is delete keywords. Um, what this does is when you click here, you're going to find, not always, but you'll find any keywords that uh, you were either, what I like to call them bad keywords, bad keywords that did not generate any content. Now either that's caused by a, mi a badly misspelled keyword, or a, an extremely, um, obscure keyword that, that could not find any content for, that there was no content for content revenge to generate content. So um, I'll show you exactly how that works. Now I have a keyword that I know will not generate content and we're going to add that in here at the bottom of our list so that we can easily find it because the last uh, keyword here is going to be the the first keyword that shows up in your posts uh, list. So let's go ahead and add this keyword. This keyword does not relate to our, our blog at all, but I know it doesn't re, uh, generate any content, so I'm going to use it here as an example. That keyword is pension plan RFPU0027S. Now this was given to me by one of my keyword tools, and uh, it does not 
provide any con there is no content related to that okay so we're going to generate that and I'm going to show you how this um, this deleted keyword function works here it essentially it cleans out your blog of any pages or posts that are blank that uh, there were no con there was no content for and then it gives you a log of those keywords here so that you can download them and clean them up and either uh, fix the misspellings or change them from being so obscure that uh, there's no, there are no results for them. So let's go ahead and generate our post. We'll hit, hit save here. Now I'm going to stop this video and we'll start up with a fresh video showing exactly what the content looks like. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.